Hello everyone and welcome to this Python 4 automation testing series. In this tutorial, we will be learning about date time module in Python. So let's begin. The date time module in Python is used to work with the dates, times and the time interval. And when we talk about the automation testing, so as an automation tester, you can log the timestamps, you can schedule the task or compare the durations in the test execution. Now let's go to the Python over here and let's learn about this time date module so let me create a file time date so in order to work with this module what we need to do is that we need to import this module so basically what we need to do is that simply from date time import date time okay and once we do it now we can work with this one so first first thing uh, which we need to learn is that how to get the current date and time. So let me create a variable over here. So current date time is equals to, so basically using this date time dot. So you see that we have this now, okay? So this is now method simply. And now if I go here and use this print statement, Inside this, let me pass this variable. And if I run this one, you see that I'm getting my current date and time, okay? Now, what I need to do is that I need to extract the data in terms of the date and time, okay? So, what I'll do is that simply, let me change the variable name, make it short today. And now what I will do is that, pass this today over here. And from this, we will be extracting the different things from here, okay? So, so the first thing is that let's extract the year. So in order to extract the year, simply today dot year, that's it. Simply run this one, we got the year, okay? Let me copy this one paste it here now if we want a month today dot we have month and if i run this one we'll get the month okay now let's go for the day over here let's print this one and instead of month dot day right so you will get the day which is 25th okay now if you want to extract the hour, minute, seconds, because this date and time contains both date and the time, right? So let me copy this one. One, two, three. So first we need an R. Okay. So simply R. And then if we want minutes to extract, so simply we will go with minute and if we want seconds so simply we say dot second so if i run this one so this is the year month day hour then the minute and the second okay so that's how you can extract the date and time components okay now what we need to do is that we need to format a date and we need to format a time okay so uh, let me remove these lines of code from here and simply what we need to do is that let me create a variable called formatted date is equals to basically today dot and so basically i need to remove these lines from here okay so i'll say formatted underscore date is equals to today dot we have this method called string format time okay and if i hover this one so basically format using this method so we can format our date and time see so that they have given us a different formats so if you want to learn more about this one, just go to this link and you will find the more information about this. Okay. So simply uh, let's format the date over here. And I say I need 
percent year then dash then i need percent month then dash then i need percent day okay and if i print this one now so you see that we will be getting the date in this format okay so if i run this one you see that we get the date in this particular format now let's format the time as well and here i'll change the variable name to time and i need r minutes second so hours h then capital m for minutes and then we need s for second okay and let me copy this one and paste it over here let's copy this one and paste it here okay now if you run this one so this is the time we got right now okay so in this way uh, you can format the time day and date and time okay now you can parse the strings to the date time so what you can do is that for example let me create one variable date underscore string and let me give a date like 2024 dash 11 dash 25 and then space 14 dash 50 dash 0 now this is basically a string i need to convert this into a date and time format so i need to parse this one okay so in order to do this let me create date and score object is equals to using this date time dot we have string string p time and here we need to pass date string which this is the one we need to pass date string and now we need to provide a format so the format is basically again i will go with the year dash percent month dash percent day then with the space i will say percent r let me copy this from here okay instead of typing this one okay now simply if i go here and print so if i print this date underscore object after passing this date and object to the string so let's go through this one so this is a string we are converting this string to a date time and here we have year month day r okay so we don't need to have a dash because we have this minute colon and here colon okay so this one and now uh, let's run this one and see what happens so we got some error over here and so let's change this y to capital y and all looks good to go now so right so this is the formatted data time from the string now if you want to work with the future dates and the past dates so how you can do this so basically simply i say future underscore date is equals to today plus time time delta time delta and if you go here you need we need to import this one okay so time delta in terms of the days for example today plus five days okay and here we need to import the time and the time delta okay import this so import time delta from the time and all good to go now simply print future dates so today is 25th 11 okay 
and after five days it will be 30th of November now if you want a date in the past so using the same logic you can let me change this one here as past date and today minus delta okay so if I run this one so instead of this feature date let's pass past date so you can see that is 2011 2024 so that's how you can work with the feature and the past dates now so let me summarize this one so in order to work with the date time you need to import this date time and you need to import time delta so that you can work with the feature and the past date and once you have this one using this one you can go with the current date time hours you can convert the string into date time so you can do a lot of stuff with this okay and in terms of the automation tester you can use this date time for logging and time stamping your results you can time stamp your files you can combine time delta for scheduling your test retries or execution delays you can parse string dates for your api validation in test scenarios use formatted dates in your test reports for the better readability okay so there are different ways where this date and time will really help you as automation tester thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial